Okay, sorry, I made a mistake. Apparently the brackets have actually been totally changed up. Common Player is fighting Golda, and Moonman and Vanisha have already played their games too, getting on to the, I guess, winner's semifinals. D double limbs a little bit tricky to work with. We have dropped the number of players down to about 10 from the looks of it, and like I said, Golda and Kama are next. Mega Man and Awesome are also being played. Gin and Leifel are not being played right now for some reason, which probably should have been played already. And I apologize, that apparently happened in the middle of the last two games. So the brackets have totally changed. These are the actual live brackets. The tournament is live with these brackets you see right here, right now. Anyway, Kmar, so common players fighting Moon Man because they were in loser's bracket. And then Gin and Leifel, I don't think they're playing right now. And no, they are not. Actually, I know Gin's here. Gin's in the mumble room with me. Well, giving me, well, other people that are, might be giving me instructions for what to do. So anyway, Brackets have changed. Take this, study it, and I'll go... I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next. I think Golda and Kmar is probably going to be the one people want to see. Actually, I'm kind of curious what'll happen with Golda and Kmar. So yeah, I'll do. I'll go with that. Yeah, Golda and Kmar, that, that'll probably be interesting. Okay, so Gin and Leifel are being played right now, and where is... Okay, so I'm going to be... Once it starts up, then we can go. I just need to get some stuff organized. So yeah, Golda, of course, is, well, generally considered the best player. So it's no surprise. This is going to be rather... Probably a little bit nerve-wracking for Kmar, I would imagine. This is a bit of a Bit of a thing that has to worry about. Yeah, let's just double check some stuff here. So yeah, once let's see, well not sure what Kamar's going to be trying to do. I mean, the last game worked decently well, but Kamar was playing basically defensive into a counter move that ended up winning. I don't think it's going to work against Golda. I think Golda is going to know when to retreat and going to have a better idea of when to poke and where to poke. So I don't expect that particular way of winning is going to work for Kamar this way. But we'll see what else Kamar has up their sleeves. Because they're going to have to have quite a lot. I'm really gonna have to have a lot. That's gonna be a big thing. So anyway. With that starting up pretty soon. Oh, starting up very soon, in fact. I, yeah, there we go. Much better. Okay, sorry, I just edited a few things in my widgets configuration, so it will be a little bit prettier this time around. We shall be starting up. Wait, are the brackets still messed up? No, the brackets are... I don't know if they're messed up. I mean, okay, they probably were messed up a bit, but now, yeah, Lego Man apparently is not doing especially well. Awesome. Oh. Ah, foolish me. Sorry, I'm... Ah, crap. Okay, this is not... Okay, bear with me for one second. I need to get a thing. Sorry, I forgot to actually put up the chat for Twitch. Because that was actually a thing that I have for 0kcast. Don't have it on... You do not have it on the not a... Yeah, because, okay. For those of you not aware, I was actually... They added, basically... And thank... I really thank the developers for this. They added in... The... There we go. They basically added in... 
the ability to and there we go okay yeah, that should connect okay and the main game I apologize this is gonna be a little bit wonky but yeah actually it should be over here okay so yeah twitch chat should show up I don't know why it's not Okay, there we go. So yeah, Twitch chat is up. So yeah, once the game gets going, we'll have that. I apologize, that was not there before. I normally have that. I try to have that. Forgot to put it in on the new scene collections. Like I said, the Office developers added in actual proper scene collections, which is awesome. So glad they did that. So we're going to be watching Golda and Kamar in basically right now. Okay, we are going to be starting the game pretty soon, so let's, well, let's get started as soon as we can. Okay, so the game is starting, and like I said, Kmar, not sure what they're going to be planning to do. I mean... When you're playing against Gold, it's like, what can you do? What can you do that's not unexpected? Because everything's expected. Everything's just, just... Whatever you do, Gold has probably seen it a hundred times and probably done it themselves half of them. <laughs> half of those times, they've done it themselves. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out, but we'll see. And yes, I actually now properly have the map borders, which is kind of nice to have. So Kmar in the west side of the map and Gold in the east side of the map. Gota hasn't chosen where to place themselves. Kmar are trying to place themselves over to the south, trying to get everything they can. Because the big thing in Noda is you want to start out such that this circle here encompasses as many metal extractors as possible so you don't have to build workers. Or you can delay how long you build workers for. Trying to maximize the number of metal spots there is very important. And Kmar, I think, has done that. This is also a nicely defensible position. The north is also acceptable. The center is probably one of the worst positions for doing this in. Actually, it's not probably. It is the worst position to do this in. And Golda looks like they are going for the south as well. Once again, we have south versus south. Or possibly. Golda actually appears to be going over to the north instead. Are they going to do that? It looks like it will, in fact, be the, a north versus south game. So it is diagonal. It's going to be cross position this game. Once Golda gets ready. And there we go. We have cross position game going on. And Kmar starting out as core once again. Golda going for arm. There we go. First arm game we've seen so far. And Golda going... Okay, still planning out their build. Well, on the other hand, Kmar has also just started planning out their build. So they're going for... Priority on metal. Interesting. Okay, so they're going for six metal, six power. They expect that there's not going to be many attacks coming in early on. Golda, on the other hand, going for... Wow, three metal, two power, early vehicle factory, and this is in fact the vehicle factory that's right here. Vehicle plant. Like, that's what that is. That is going to be pretty devastating. Because early vehicles is difficult to deal with. The best way to deal with it is basically early, I think, more... Well, I know Zeus, early Zeus does a decent job. Or early Mass Rocco, but... I'm not sure what Core has. Probably early Morty, really. Or if not that, then early Thud. Or Sturm. Yeah, dealing with early vehicles, it'd probably be... It'd probably just be Flashes. Yeah, it'd probably be mostly Flashes. Actually, no, it's not even Flashes, it's Jeffy's. So it's pure Scout, we're not even going... Okay, Jeffy and Flash. Nothing really armored yet. I believe Stumpy is the weakest armored tank. So yeah, nothing armored at the moment, but it, it still doesn't really matter, because at this point, Kmar only has... Only has power and metal. Kmar went for a very, very economic opening, and this is probably going to be a big problem. Go to just now getting the vehicle factory up, and that vehicle factory getting up that first Jeffy. Five seconds in, it'll be about 15 seconds or so before it managed to actually get into Kmar's base. But once that happens, Kmar is going to likely regret what they're doing. Though not necessarily. The core tower is going to be defensive. There is still there. Oh, damn it. I apologize. I meant to look at the game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know why I keep doing this. 
Uh, anyway. I terribly apologize. I At least it's better than what happened in the 0k tournament, where it was like 8 minutes of that. I'm sorry, bad habit of mine. Gotta remember, for, it's an idea for an April Fool's episode, just to have an entire episode where I'm looking at just the title screen while commentating on the game. That'd be the April Fool's joke. Anyway, KBot Lab being built up for Kmar. Getting up early Splinters once again. I mean, it worked last time. Why not do it again? And like I said, the tower does spot out the Jeffy. But that does mean there's going to be a pretty easy time putting pressure onto Kmar. Goldie can pretty easily put pressure on Kmar just now getting Splinters. Actually, getting Splinters and Pyro. There we go. That's what it... Yeah, I was thinking Morty. Pyro is the one to go for. So early Pyro and early Splinters. We do have... Oh, never mind. The, the Flash is apparently armored. Which is very good to note. Now, well, first Splinters... Sorry, Splinters... Actually, first Pyro coming up here. Are the Splinters even being built? No, Pyro and AK. Splinters even, isn't even being built. Just Pyro-AK mix. Just to counter the vehicles outright, which makes perfect sense. And go to continue to build up their economy. As is fairly typical. And, you know, this is not the best place but chat. Hang on a sec. Let me put it over here. Yeah, that'll, that'll do, I guess. Right, unless I can align it to the left. Okay, I apologize. I'm I'm getting distracted. Anyway, yeah, so the chat's going to be a little bit awkward because the build menu goes all the way over to the left, all the way over to the left side of the screen. Anyway, we have... Well, the thing is, there is still that tower. I mean, Nana doesn't really allow too much rushing, thanks to that tower here. But at the same time, like I said, that does give Golda a lot of room to expand. And at this point, Golda already going for two construction vehicles, just spread them across the map, taking all the metal extraction spots and then building up solar collectors as needed. While, on the other hand, we have Kmar, who's like, right now... Okay, that's Kmar. So, Golda right now at 19 metal, Kmar at... Actually, Golda and Kmar are pretty even at the moment. But Golda's very quickly going to overtake Kmar. Yeah, Kmar actually... Oh boy, Kmar doesn't even have... Kmar has no workers at the moment. Everything's so far been built by the tower. And in comes the first Flash going around the side. And will be trying to take out the Metal Extractor. Should be able to... Yep, will be definitely able to do so. Takes out the Metal Extractor right away. Or not quite. Goldie gets out of range. Not too keen on getting itself killed so that Flash gets out of that way. At the same time, Flash over to the north, getting hit by the tower, but does get stopped by the Pyro and AKs. And this this Flash over here, it is actually, it's working nicely, moving backwards to avoid the Pyros and keep his armor in front. However, oh, now it's, okay, that's bad. The armor is not being used to its advantage now. I thought I had that on. Okay, well, anyway, the armor is not being used to its advantage and is currently on fire. Slowly but surely, losing all of its health until finally it goes... Kmar is still doing a decent job defending, though Golda right now does have 24 metal. And actually has pretty much the entire map visible. The entire center of the map is open to Golda. While Kmar, on the other hand, only has line of sight. No radar whatsoever. I mean, we're five minutes in the game and no radar has been built for Kmar. Kmar is behind. Though building up a vehicle plant of their own to try to even the stakes, or at least try to get the same sort of type going. But hey, actually, to be perfectly honest, Kmar is not doing too bad in defense. And Golda... Golda is possibly being a little bit overconfident. I say possibly because, of course, it's Golda, so they're probably not being overconfident. But they are being very confident. And if Kmar, expand, or Kmar rates the right spots on the map, it could be possible for Kmar to equalize at this stage. I mean, it's only 20, it's 25 to 19, so it's not a huge advantage. It's still an advantage, though. Don't get me wrong. There is still definitely an advantage for Golda by metal. But overall, militarily, it has actually worked out decently well for Kmar at this point. And a couple Panthers are coming in. They're going to be a bit more scary. The Pyro's probably going to go down in one hit, actually. If, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. The attack stats are not exactly accurate. Yeah, the Pyro's coming in here and able to get... Actually, one of them gets in a bad spot as far as armor's concerned. But even then, they've nicely split up, distracting Kmar's forces, giving Goldie even that much more time to pull in reinforcements. Another Panther being pulled in. One of the Panthers does die, but another Panther being pulled in, forcing Kmar to retreat. And Kmar getting raiders. That's that's what they're called. They're just they're raiders. That's all they do. They raid. Actually, double check. The raiders are described as a medium tank. 
They appear to be a bit weaker than the Panthers, but they're probably... Actually, Panthers cost... No, they're, they are less expensive than the Panther. Though right now the cost is expressed in terms of time rather than in terms of metal, but yeah, 69 seconds compared to 51 seconds. So the Raiders can definitely get up in numbers. And one of the Panthers burns to death once again, so Goldie losing that. However, this flash down here of the south is going to prevent any expansion attempts. The Necro over here can't really do much outside of what it's done so far. Can reclaim. I mean, Kmar can sort of build to the north, but like I said, Golda just has this soft contain going on. A lot of pressure, and at this point, Golda has an 8 metal advantage. Nearly, nearly a 1.5 times metal advantage on Kmar. And it's only going to grow. Kmar has not been harassing at all. Been trying to deal with these Panthers, but has not been harassing. And does Kmar still not have radar? Kmar does have radar. Yes, Kmar does finally have radar. It's over to the south side, not the most effective location, but it does exist, or at least for now, because this this here Stumpy is going to be getting rid of it. Yeah, there, sorry, that Flash, not Stumpy, what I'm saying. That there Flash is going to be getting rid of that radar, leaving Kmar in the dark once again and getting rid of another metal extractor. And a Panther death over to the north as well for Goldust. So Kmar still defending fairly well, but Kmar once again is not in a good position to defend. Kmar needs to attack, Kmar needs to get that advantage back. Trying to get rid of this Panther, and actually will be able to do so. I think... Is it burning? It's... No, it's not on fire. A few more shots from the AK will take it out, but that's not gonna happen. However, that construction vehicle is right out in the open, and the Panther isn't really strong enough to defend. Any attempt to defend will basically be met with death. Down goes the Panther, and now this entire north side is basically open. Golda, not yet sending any forces over there, is building up a K-Bot lab. Probably not for defense, just because that's... Actually, maybe it's for defense. Eight seconds on the clock? Yeah, that actually could very well be for a quick defense. While at the same time, we do have the vehicle plant now switching over. Pure Panther. That's all that's being built there is purely Panther. And Kmar right now, low on metal. Well, Golda, 26 metal still, and Kmar, 17 metal. Needs to rebuild this metal extractor. Needs to rebuild... Okay, the radar has been built in a better spot. Building metal extractors to the north, which is good to see. So Kmar... Starting to stabilize, starting to get a bit even here, and nice shot there with the Pyros. Although, a very good Toadfoot usage there. Air switch has been accomplished by Golda. Toadfoot, the fighter bomber, has been built up, and that will be... F yeah, well, there we go. Golda has gone out that K the K-Bot defense. Sending a couple Peewees, which are weaker than the AKs, that's for sure. But even then, that Pyro still able to get rid of them and able to get rid of yet another Metal Extractor. So, Golda right now, 23 to 20 Metal. I mean, energy is still a massive event for Golda, but Metal not so much. So, this is not a bad raid, not a great raid. Oh! Actually, that looks like Golda self-destructed that particular K-Bot lab. As the defense has been successful, or very nearly so. If not successful, then very nearly a failure. Is that, is that really a self-destruct? I just don't think there's anything up there that was actually attacking it, but I might be wrong. Anyway, that is going to be this... The north side attack, but the center of the map, we are getting another attack from Golda. Actually, two attacks. One in the south. Kmar is attacking down, and over to the north as well. Kmar is doing not as good of a job over to the north. It is getting close to the tower, which is a bit scary. But over to the south, doing a wonderful job, really clearing that out. And the north side, some reinforcement pyros are coming in. While the Toadfoot goes over to try to get rid of some of these flashes here. Sorry, raiders, not... <laughs> some of the raiders here. I keep forgetting flash, that's the... Actually, that is the core name. That, that is that is a core vehicle. Or is it? No, never mind. That, that's an arm vehicle. My mistake. But anyway, we do have the Raiders coming in the north, and this is... Well, at this point, we do have an air switch coming in from... I was about to say that Kmar should probably consider investing in air. This is a low ground attack unit. So, like, I mean, the Toadfoot can be hit by ground anti-air. It's not a strategic bomber. If it were a strategic bomber, then I'd say no. That's obviously not an option. But it isn't a strategic bomber, which means it could be used... And a couple more raiders coming in here, which will be able to get rid of yet another construction vehicle. This is a very powerful raid. In fact, Kmar is... Nope, still way behind. Thanks to Reclaim. That's all it is. The Reclaim going in here, but other than Reclaim... No, apparently that was destroyed. Okay, my mistake. That was, in fact, destroyed, not self-destructed. Kmar is ahead by six metal, and hitting the factory really hard. Well, is that... Seriously? No, Kmar, you gotta hit that factory. That's... That is super key. Like... Okay, never mind. Kmar is coming in with more raiders to hit that factory. Wow. Go to... I don't know if... What's going on here? That's, that's one vehicle factory. The other vehicle factory is still up and still heavily defended, but that second vehicle factory has gone down. And Golda, other than by Reclaim, like Reclaim is what's giving Golda lifeline right here. That's the thing that's keeping Golda in the game. And that's quite a bit of Reclaim too, so Kmart's going to have to be careful here. But even then, 
there is a massive numerical advantage. These toad foots are the only thing that's, that's not the only thing. But they're a major thing that's keeping Golda in the end. Between the Toadfoot and the Reclaim, that's keeping Golda in this game. And I'm surprised I'm saying keeping Golda in this game. I'm surprised the phrase keeping Golda in this game is escaping my lips at the moment. That factory almost dead. But no reinforcements coming in to deal with it. Instead, attacks from the south. And really, that that probably isn't the biggest deal to be dealt with. I mean, there's a cable factory over here. Getting rid of the vehicle factory is not a bad idea. Getting rid of the airplane is probably a better idea. Because these Toadfoots, they are basically stopping Kmar from fully winning this game. But Kmar has now managed to get an advantage. Kmar at 26 medal and actually has pretty good map of it. Yeah, a lot of map awareness. Gold on the other hand, also good map awareness, but only 20 medal. So at this point, the economy advantage is completely flipped. And Golda is on the back foot. But this is Golda. You can't, can't count them out yet. Cannot count them out yet at all. But then again, these Raiders are doing a very fine job. Probably get rid of yet another metal extractor and further metal extractors as they go along. The Toadfoot doing what it can and is doing a pretty decent job. Gets rid of yet another Raider. But still, this Raider here is basically going to be able to tear apart everything. That tower did not target... Oh, no! No, nice shot with the Toadfoot. However, there is still an army coming in here. Pyro is getting rid of the k factory once again. k factory is down. Vehicle factory is up. Gold is going for what looks like a last-ditch effort. And I should point out, this is double elimination. So if Gold goes down here... They could still win the tournament, but I... Wow, I'm eating my words, or possibly eating my words when I said earlier that Golda would be the one fighting against... I think it was Kmar because of the original bracket. I mean, I, I was right. Golda is fighting against Kmar, but I meant it in terms of Vanushan and Legoma had no chance against Golda, but then again, this is kind of irrelevant thanks to the bracket switch up. But yes, Golda and Kmar are in fact fighting. I was at least technically correct, even though my intention was not. However, those Toadfoots, I really... Kmar, why are you not dealing with the Toadfoots? Is Kmar building... No, Kmar is not building anything to deal with the Toadfoots at this point. Right, are they... What are they building out here? Building more Raiders. More and more Raiders. Nothing to deal with the Toadfoots. They're just trying to win by simply out-spamming. And Golda right now... Well, Reclaim they have, but that's about it. Reclaim is keeping them even. Actually, slightly ahead. However, this one Toadfoot, that needs to be removed. Those Toadfoots need to be gotten rid of. That is a priority. And air has been built up. Avengers being set up to deal with this. And if I recall correctly, Avengers are basically the same as that they used to be called. Yeah, they are they are the fighters. Similar to Zero K before the rename into Swifts. The Avengers will be quite handy to get rid of these Toadfoots. But at this point, really, there is a massive advantage. I mean, Golda has half the economy without reclaim. And doesn't have a whole lot of reclaim available. I think right now, yeah, this vehicle factory might be in reclaim range. I don't think so, though. Yeah, right now, Golda has half the economy. This is Kmart's economy, 34 metal. Golda's economy, 17 metal. Golda has a massive economic disadvantage right now. Now, Golda trying to make up for this by sending some Panthers over to the north to harass out, to break out the north side, and that has been spotted. Kmart trying to deal with that, but that will split Kmart's forces. That being said, though, Kmart still has a pretty large army. The Avengers have gotten rid of the Toad... Or, at least not gotten rid of, but definitely discourage the Toadfoots from doing anything. And the Avengers are... Are they going to be able to deal with them? Yeah, it looks like... No, no, never mind. The Toadfoots are too great in number. The Avengers can't quite deal with it. I think more of a dedicated anti-air. Actually, what exists for dedicated anti-air here? It's going to say they should build Hawks, but yeah, I don't think that exists, actually. It's going to be a matter of just building more Avengers or building ground anti-air. Like, ground anti-air will work here. And Kmart needs to do that, because if Kmart doesn't do that, Golda's going to get back in the game. Right, Golda actually has a chance to get back in the game, despite the economy disadvantage, because of these Toadfoots. However, because there aren't any real workers around the map, there's no easy way for Golda to get the reclaim off this, which is a big deal. That being said, let's just get the anti-air. Get ground-based anti-air. If you get ground-based anti-air, Kmart, you will win this game. You will beat Golda. You just need ground-based anti-air. Because air-based anti-air is not cutting it. And this attack over to the northwest has actually hit. And is dealing quite a bit of damage. Kmar not... Okay, now Kmar's going on an intercept path. Kmar was not going on an intercept path before. Which is not what you want to do. You want to make sure to intercept. Because these units are faster. The Panthers are... Let's see. Speed of 2.3. Oops. Speed of 1.7. Yeah. Raiders are slower than Panthers. Panthers are quick. And Golda is now getting back into the game because of this. 
Honestly, I am surprised. Why are these toadfish just being allowed? Oh, nope. I don't see it. Yeah, pyros are trying to hit the air. Yeah, the toadfish really aren't doing a whole lot. Or getting hit a whole lot. That's the problem. They aren't getting hit a whole lot. They're doing a ton. They're winning gold of the game. They're getting gold back in the game. Or at least, I know, I always... I'm hyperbolic like that. They're not winning gold of the game. If anything, Panthers here are winning are getting gold back in the game more than anything. But the Toadfoots are stopping Kmar from winning. They're keeping Gota alive. And Kmar is not prioritizing that, not realizing, or at least not wanting to. Oh, never mind. There are slashers. There we go. Slashers have been built. And I'm pretty sure they are very similar to their 0k counterparts. Oh, if I can find the actual description. Yeah, anti oh, they're described as anti-air missile truck. Not even a matter of being just flex AA as in 0k. Apparently, I mean, we'll see how they are actually, but yes, they are definitely what they're what is needed. Get rid of these Toadfoots. I mean, more and more Toadfoots are being built over time. Goda's gonna just have that. I mean, at this point, how many is Goda already has 10 Toadfoots right now. These Slashers, oh, they can't fire one movie, so they're not quite like their 0k counterparts. They're slightly pow more powerful. Yeah, the Toadfoots here now finally getting a now finally getting dealt with, at least in part, but not enough slashes at this point. There is still an Avenger up, and actually, whoa, get rid of a Toadfoot. There we go. One of the Toadfoots has gone down. Avengers still not really able to deal the damage they need to. Toadfoots are just able to outmatch Avengers in the air. I mean, I think you need more. I think Avengers are more expensive. 360? No. No, Avengers are actually more expensive, not less expensive. A little bit surprising there, but there are so many Toad Foots as it is, it's not a huge surprise. That being said, though, Kmar has now basically broken through the Toad Foot line. There are slashes around the map, and with good use of these raiders, I mean, this raider over the north is going to have a bit of a hard time. They ha there has to be a much larger army, as usual, to deal with the tower here. But yeah, gold at 20 metal, and Kmar is still at 36, and these... The Toad Foots here are trying to deal with the factory, but not able to do much. Having run out of fuel as well, they're going very slowly. One of them is going to die... Thanks to that tower, or is it? Oh, just barely survives. I gotta turn on the unit tracking. Just barely survives. And Raiders over to the north with no slashes. We're getting torn apart by Toadfoots once again. However, Raiders over in the center have pretty much no opposition except once again the Toadfoots. But at this point, there are two air factories. That is huge. Golda is investing very heavily in air, also harassing the south, I mean, just keeping Kmar from actually focusing on any one thing. Very nice down there in the misdirection. However, this vehicle factory is going to go down. No doubt about it, this vehicle factory is going down, if it's, if it's targeted at least. There we go, one more shot, and down it goes. Vehicle factory is down. The air factory, however, is a bigger deal, but yeah, the vehicle factory, the vehicle factory, if that goes, I see the air factory, if that goes down, that'll be a huge problem. Like that'll stop the toad foot construction, and the tower can't quite get rid of the raiders quickly enough, but the raider won't be able to kill the factory in time. Toadfoots will be able to finish that off. The air factory, very much alive, and K-Bot's coming in from the north, while the raid from the south is still doing a very good job. And despite that, despite all that, Kmart not too far behind in economy. Still about the same economic strength, having rebuilt the north, and she rebuilt in the center as well. Kmar is still going very strong, and at this point, there's one cable factory and two air factories for Golda. At the same time, there's two cable factories, one, two air factories, and a light vehicle factory for Kmar. Kmar looks to be trying to finally get up in the Avenger numbers to deal with the Toadfoots. Deal with the Toadfoots properly. No Vash, though, so these Panthers are still pretty much given free reign. Power trying to deal with them. We'll be able to get rid of one, not the other. First one does burn to death, but the second one gets free reign once again, but it will be too close to the tower for it to be a problem. And Core Towers do have an easier time defending, because of the laser. They just, they kill things faster, less damage is dealt. Whereas against Arm, you have a bit more of a chance to actually deal the damage before the unit inevitably dies. Now, in the center of the map, K-Bots have taken the north, and Golda getting a nice stranglehold on the north side, while Kmar does have the center, and these Toadfoots still going out of the Avengers. The Avengers are having a hard time hitting them. Ah, one of the Toadfoots does go down with the Avengers. Put into a bad spot. Both of them get shot down right after. Now, where are those slashers? There's two slashers right here, and that is it. Kmar has not focused on building up the slashers. I think they're really, really focused on building up these air units. And that's not working out especially well. So it looks like there are still some Avengers. I mean, the Avengers are coming back to refuel. How many Avengers are there? I want to know. There are currently five Avengers and nine Tonefoots. 
Toadfoot stole the advantage, but the Avengers actually managed to take out. Oh. Okay, some of the Toadfoots are going down now. That's four Avengers and eight Toadfoots. While on the ground, the K bots are going down pretty quickly. These are all Rockos. Mass Rocco spam is a very good idea. Typically, the thing you want to do as. At this stage in the game, as arm. I mean, 20 minutes in the game is fairly far in. And if it weren't for Golda's disadvantage on economy, he'd probably. Or they'd probably go for Zeus's rather than going for. Or anything. Oh, Vanish actually pointed out a while ago that towers can't shoot and reclaim at the same time. Apologize for not pointing that out, but yeah, that's good to know. That is very good to note. So we have the levelers coming in. Not levelers, sorry, the raiders coming in. Which is more like ravagers, honestly, in terms of how they fire. But the. Yeah, Sprinter is doing a nice job, and I can see why Sprinters were very often used by Core. They're nice and fast, they avoid the Rocco attacks pretty effectively. And now, a strong attack coming from the vehicles. The Roccos are a bit dangerous. That's the thing. The Roccos cannot be underestimated. This many Roccos will get rid of a vehicle army fairly quickly. And the Sprinters is doing a good job. And going to the north, and then cut off production of the K-Bot lab. I mean, even cutting off metal is not bad. And at this point, there is still about a two-fold difference in economy strength in favor of Kmar. And Kmar getting an air support pad as well just to deal with, well, help with the Avengers here. Four Avengers compared to still ten Toadfoots. The Avengers are not doing a particularly good job of clearing the skies. They are asleep at the switch. And that is not working out because at this point, Kmar, once again, as has been the case for the entire game, the Toadfoots are still keeping Kmar back, keeping Kmar from winning this game. Like, Kmar had the game several minutes ago, but the Toadfoots just stopped it. And it looks like one of the Panthers that was left idle is being reclaimed completely. So Golda just accidentally donated some metal over to Kmar. Rather than using that, but also good to note that you can actually reclaim units that are not dead in Nada. Unlike in Zero K where they have to be dead. Nada, they do not have to be dead, apparently. Good to know. And a raid over to the north as well. Actually not a raid, sorry. Fark just coming in here. Possibly reclaiming, trying to reclaim, possibly I don't think capture exists. No, capture does not exist in this game. Probably gonna reclaim. I mean capture does exist, but it doesn't exist as a worker ability. Not always sure. And the Avengers coming in, get rid of yet another Toadfoot. More Avengers go down at the same time. They're very evenly matched. And now these Sprinters are helping out with the Toadfoot destruction, but even then, get more Slashers. Or if not Slashers, then... Well, anything anti here, really, I think. Yeah, Crashers, okay, there. There we go, that's what it's called. Get Crashers, then. Get something to deal with the Toadfoots. If the Toadfoots are gone, Kmart, you win the game. You win the game if the Toadfoots are not here. I mean, even as it is, Kmart's Usually at an advantage compared to Golda. And Golda has 25 Rockos. Kmar has a lot of Sprinters. Like, what was it? 19, and right here there's like 7, which isn't great, but still local advantage is working out. And actually, the Rockos are getting torn apart by the Sprinters very effectively. The Sprinters dodging the Rockets and hitting very effectively, getting rid of these Rockos. Slightly better than 1 to 1 ratio. But the Toadfoots, once again, the Toadfoots are just stopping that from being all that effective. So these raiders, looks like they're probably going to try to bunch up, I think if, yeah, it looks like they're trying to bunch up here, possibly get to the north and maybe just break through the center, get rid of the, well, the rebuilt light vehicle factory, get rid of the air factories, possibly get rid of the tower outright, not even bother with the factories around it, just break the tower. And at this point, wow, that's a lot coming in for Kmar, 42 metal and looks like 900 energy, 500 energy coming in for Golda and Kmar. I'm not seeing any tech up, so Kmar is just going for additional economy, possibly going for tech up afterwards. They might go for the tier 2 or tier 1.5 upgrade thing. Not totally sure, because they seem to be quite satisfied with basically a raider heavy army. Well, Gold on the other hand, well, Gold is behind, so a raider heavy army makes sense. They want to just break as much as they can of Kmar's economy, but I think at this point Kmar is basically going to just break this eventually eventually go to however going to the north once again with no resistance now at this point we have eight avengers compared to remaining 10 toadfoots what is being built instead okay nothing is being built instead toadfoot is what's being built but the avengers are now managing to get their advantages working against the toadfoots or in theory they are yeah, the Toadfoot getting hit pretty hard, trying to strafe away from it. Doing a pretty decent job, too, of the strafing, but not decent enough. At the same time on the ground, we have a lot of damage being dealt. Toadfoot, still nine of them left, a lot of them under production. While Avengers, there are seven of those left. So, 
eventually the Avengers will likely take this guy's... Not now, though. Not quite yet. Actually, how many... Where are the Avengers right now? Over there, over there. Yeah, there's... Okay, four Avengers now. The Toadfoots... I mean, Goldridge is doing a really good job with their air micro. Keeping their Toadfoots alive. Keeping the... Keeping basically everything up. I mean, the... The Toadfoots have basically not dropped a number. And the Avengers have had to be rebuilt completely twice at this point. Now, Kmart could still probably attack... At least to the south. Like, go south and then sweep north. And do a decent amount of damage. Probably enough to completely break Golda. Because Golda right now, actually, thanks to... Oh, okay, apparently Kmart's getting a lot of lag. But anyway, Golda, apparently, thanks to the... Toad was there. It's just... That... Even then, the south side is basically open. These here could tear this apart. And other than that, I mean, the north side is being... Basically, it's giving no attention. But the south side needs to be hit. Needs to be hit pretty hard. What the heck did Gota do? Oh, right, because yeah, Gota's losing. Okay, that's... Okay, back in the game, Gota having been forced to unpause by Polar. Apparently pauses are not allowed. Was not aware of that, but yeah, Gota has surrendered. So, Kmar takes the game. I mean, Gota had actually kind of taken the game anyway, but... I mean, sorry, Kmar had taken the game anyway. But yeah, Gota... I guess has to go out to try to fix their settings. Because apparently Nanda just resets their settings on them all the time. Which is kind of surprising. I'm not sure if they're going off of the the portable version or... Okay, so apparently Gota actually, according to the chat, Gota had actually messed up and was actually handicapping themselves in that game slightly. Just good to point out, because their settings were messed up from the start of the game, and they decided, you know what, I'm just going to go with this, going to play it as is, and that might explain why they didn't do as well. Probably does explain why they didn't do as well. Oh, that is going to be that game. We go on from there to the next game, which will be... I'm not sure what the next game is going to be. The next game, I guess, will be Vanershaw and the winner of Kalina and Gin. So whenever that's sorted out, I'm not sure what's going on. I think... I think Kalina and Gin has been finished. Oh no, it's Gin and Leifel that was finished. Gin won. So Kalina and Gin, I think, might be still going on. Wait on that until it's done. Okay, so we're going to have the next game when that's determined. I really don't know what that's going to be. Kind of wish I did because it would be nice to know. It would be very nice to know. But I don't know what that'll be. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to have an intermission for the moment. I'll be back in whenever I'm ready for the next game. Stay tuned for that.